Actually, you you do make a good point about that, Sito. No, because for the longest time, um, PBED has been in existence since two thousand six. So, it's it's close to two decades of really pushing for and making a lot of noise about education. And it was only this year, I think, at least during the pandemic, where we saw a bit more interest and public focus on on education. And I think it was really the pandemic that brought to life. Um, shed light on the on the um the whole learning crisis. But one, we we do thank you and we thank Agenda for giving education the attention it deserves for constantly or regularly um asking us to talk about these issues. Um, in terms, kasi of education, it's not really a sexy topic. Um, people talk about inflation a lot, prices of goods, unemployment, even disasters. Right? It's these are the things that get covered a lot because it affects um Filipinos day to day lives. Pero mm. sa education, kasi when you talk about low scores, tatanong yung mga tao ay ano ngayon? Parang hindi naman sila nagugutom, nakakakain naman sila or ano ngayon kung mababa yung PISA scores natin? Um nasa loob naman sila ng classroom, they're still getting education. But we do think and we we need to see beyond that and that is what PBED has been pushing for for the longest time. We need to see education as both an economic and as a political issue because now, um, because it is really one of the most important things we can do, investing on our most important resource, which is our human capital or our people. So just like how we're building, ito yung sinasabi namin sa PIMED, eh, na? We're, we keep building roads and bridges, but we're not investing on our most important resource, which is human capital. Um, we we hope though that more and more um well one one thing i guess is that um with media we hope that there there is more coverage and sana naman hindi lang coverage kasi mababa yung scores natin sana it really gets talked about because it is also it also allows people to become more informed and become more aware and hopefully alarmed by our state of education mm-hmm.